Number 25, the Maxim machine gun. A self-powered machine gun that could fire 600 rounds per minute. This was equivalent to the firepower of 30 contemporary bolt-action rifles. It's mostly been associated with British conquests and was famously used when 700 British soldiers fought off 3,000 warriors with just four of these in the Battle of Shingani. Number 24, the Pumhart von Steyr. With a ball diameter of 80 centimeters, this super gun was the largest weapon used in 15th century Austria. Heres Gesichtliches Museum at Vienna houses this monstrous bombard today. Number 23, the Monster Mortar. The world's largest cannon ever has a caliber of 975 millimeters. Created by Joseph Paxhands, this monster weapon gained its notoriety during the Siege of Antwerp in 1832. Number 22, the Tsar Cannon. This engraved cannon is the largest howitzer ever made. It weighs 38 tons and is 5.3 meters long. Built in 1586, this massive weapon is now being displayed at the Kremlin in Moscow. Number 21, the Mark I. The first war vehicle to be called a tank could carry five machine guns and eight soldiers. Mark I had several upgrades numbered 2 to 10, but all bore the same resemblance to their quote-unquote mother. This massive tank and its variants were used by several countries throughout the First World War. Number 20, the Karl Garat. This mean machine created by Rheinmetall for the Nazi war machine was the largest self-propelled weapon to be used in actual attacks during World War II. Number 19, the Schwer Gustav Endora. These two humongous World War II era German 80 centimeter railway Sage guns are the largest caliber rifled weapons in history used in live combat, and their shells are the heaviest of any ammunition ever. Number 18, the RPG-71. The Ruchnoi Protitankovi Grania Mjot or handheld anti-tank grenade launcher, or simply the RPG, is the most widely used anti-armor weapon in the world. Used by both militaries and insurgent groups, RPGs even the battlefield out against opponents with more heavy artillery. Number 17, the B-41. This gravity bomb was the United States' most powerful nuclear warhead ever, but it was already retired in 1957. It's number 16, the P-270 Mosquit. With a top speed of Mach 3, this Russian supersonic ramjet-powered cruise missile makes it hard for enemies to counterattack. Not only that, because of the active military weapon secrecy, little is known about its background except for some measurements, calculated speed, and a few other bits of very basic info. Number 15, the P-800 Onyx. Other than the fact that its recorded speeds are between Mach 2.9 and a whopping Mach 5.7, making it way faster than the previous item on this list, this Russian supersonic anti-ship cruise missile can also effectively sink a U.S. carrier. Number 14, Shabab missiles. A class of long-range Iranian missiles that could potentially reach up to 5,000 kilometers, Shabab missile upgrades are shrouded in secrecy, but the assumption is that they would be used during a possible invasion by Israel. Number 13, the Agni Missile 3. The Agni missile is a family of medium to intercontinental range ballistic missiles developed by India named after one of the five elements of nature. Number 12, Fat Man and Little Boy. We're all familiar with the Nagasaki and Hiroshima bombings that changed the course of history during the last world war. Named after film characters, these two infamous nuclear bombs gave humanity a shocking memory of what warfare can do to a nation and its future generations. Number 11, the B-53. The nine megatons of TNT in B-53 stake their claim as the most powerful warhead ever. It's one of the last very high-yield thermonuclear bombs in the U.S. service, but it's no longer used actively. Number 10, the MOAB. During the time of its development, the mother of all bombs, or MOAB, was officially named GBU-43B Massive Ordnance, and it was considered the most powerful non-nuclear weapon ever designed. Tested on March 11, 2003, its blast can destroy nine city blocks with a radius of 140 meters. A larger version of 13 tons was reportedly developed as well. Number 9, the FOAB, or Aviation Thermobaric Bomb of Increased Power. Nicknamed the father of all bombs, hence FOAB, this is a Russian-made, air-delivered, land-activated thermobaric weapon. In describing the bomb's destructive power, Russian Deputy Chief of the General Staff, Alexander Rukshin, was quoted as saying, all that is alive merrily evaporates. Number 8. The Tsar Bomba. Remember those enormous mushroom cloud explosions in history books? Well, those were caused by these guys. The Tsar Bomb has a mass of 27 tons and will create a fireball with a radius of 3.5 kilometers. Number 7. 
Nimitz-class aircraft carrier. With twin nuclear reactors that don't need refueling for 23 years and bays that are capable of holding up to 113 fighter jets, just the appearance of this carrier in any region is enough to influence global politics. Number 6. The Airborne Laser The Boeing Ya-1 or Airborne Laser Testbed weapon system is a megawatt class chemical oxygen iodine laser mounted inside a modified Boeing 747. It's primarily designed as a missile defense system to destroy tactical ballistical missiles, but funding for the program was cut in 2010. Number 5. The Predator and Predator B, aka the Reapers. Used by the United States, the Royal Air Force, and the Italian Air Force, these drones are becoming increasingly common for both combat and recon operations. Number 4. The Trident 2. Launched from a submarine, this missile contains eight thermonuclear warheads. That's bad news for anybody even remotely near the target. Number three, the R-36 ICBM. The difference between the previous entry and this Russian missile are the number of warheads that it can carry, and the fact that it's normally launched from dry land. With its massive payload, this ICBM wouldn't have much trouble initiating a nuclear holocaust. Number two, dead bodies. Nuclear bombs and lasers are scary and powerful, no doubt about that, but as they say, there's more than one way to skin a cat, and if you're going for slow, mentally devastating destruction, sometimes launching the disease-riddled bodies of prisoners that you've executed back over the city wall is the most sadistic way to go about decimating a population. And number one, chimera viruses. As we just said, being able to destroy an entire city in less than a second with the push of a button is one way to measure destructive power. But being able to selectively and slowly decimate a population with disease and infection is so unconventionally brutal that it has to top this list. If you liked the video you just saw, then feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel by using the orange button in the top right. And don't forget to go check out our website at list25.com for more awesome lists.